We've said it before and we'll say it again. The holidays are about spending time with and entertaining our friends and family. And one of the best ways to do that is with holiday wine and cheese pairings. Mm -hmm. Sommelier Theo Rutherford is here to break it all down Wait a minute, for us. I thought this was Chris Helmsworth. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Look, you hey, get that a lot. I, every once in a while. Yeah, yes. okay. I thought it was Chris Helmsworth. I was like, what? People are probably like, let me see the song. I'd like to order some wine. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. No, it's okay. You guys are making me follow the singing. It's like I'm I'm sitting here like, well, I need the wine. This is Okay, really let's six. talk about the wine, please. All right. Okay. So obviously the easiest way to entertain people is with a glass of wine, uh, whether you like them or not. Obviously, if you like them, it's a lot of fun. If you don't, it drowns your sorrows. So okay. um, and cheese, everybody has a cheese board out during the holidays. It, everybody's standing around in the kitchen picking at it. So why not have a couple things that actually work well okay so when you're thinking about cheese pairings a lot of the thing you want to think about is actually how much milk fat is in the cheese which I know fat people think I don't want to think about that on the holidays mm -hmm. but milk fat actually really does do play a really important part into what kind of wine you want okay so things that have a lot more milk fat to them like a brie or a mm. camembert those really nice ooey gooey creamy mm -hmm. cheeses that I adore they need something with a lot of acid to it so that's why I go with a Chardonnay so this one specifically is the calling Dutton Ranch Chardonnay mm. it's from Sonoma Okay. Uh, it's actually one of my favorites, so I know I say Dutt and Ranch, a lot of people are going to think Yellowstone. Okay. Watch out for season four, it might be in there. Okay. Uh, cool. But with this one, the acid's going to be there, but it's still, if you don't like Chardonnay, this is perfect because there's a lot more acid, a lot more fruit. If you yes. do like Chardonnay, the there's a little bit of that right. oak to it, so and it kind of pleases everybody. the acid will cut through the fat, right? Exactly. It's going right. to cut right through it. You're going to taste a little bit more of the wine. You're going to taste a little bit Ooh. more of the cheese, a little bit more of sort of those special things. So really kind of delicious. Mm, beautiful. Yeah. What's up next? So when you're moving into harder cheeses like cheddars or things that have a little bit, especially some age to them, mm -hmm. you know when you eat an aged cheese, every once in a while you bite into them and the sugar crystals kind of yes. explode in your mouth? Those kinds of cheeses, which are a lot of fun. You want something that has a little bit of tannin, and the, because the sugar and the tannin are actually going to interact, and again, wake up the wine, wake up the cheese, a lot of fun. So that's why I go with Girard Artistry. So Girard is from Napa, so we're moving over the mountains mm -hmm. from Sonoma, and with this one, it's going to have a little bit of Cab, Merlot, Petit, uh, petit Verdot, a lot of different things in there, but that Cab is nice and subtle. Mm. And just explain so, what a tannin is. Uh, so a tannin <laughs> is that thing that dries out your mouth. Okay. So when you're drinking coffee in the morning or really bitter dark chocolate, it. and it dries out your mouth, same thing, actually mm. pretty similar. So with this nice and smooth, this is a really velvety wine that mm -hmm. you can open up and drink. I literally opened this up not even an hour ago, or you can let it sort of sit out and it'll evolve, and it's just a lot of fun. Well, you don't put red wine in a refrigerator. Mm. Some no. people, you know what? Red wine a little chilled, I do all the time. Cheese. Oh, Trust really? Me. It's all okay. Time. Oh, okay. Yeah. Here, I can move that. You can sneak right. around. And then last but not least, I know there are some people that like blue cheese. I am one of them. Mm -hmm. uh, and obviously, if you're doing some of the Italian flares, you know, blue cheese does come into those things mm -hmm. every once in a while. Mm -hmm. So with blue cheese, you want something, because it has a little bit of sweetness to it and a little bit of funk, you want to bring something that has a little bit more fruit to the table. Mm -hmm. So that's why I went with Josh Cabernet from North Coast. This is their reserve label. So just like you see Josh everywhere else in the grocery store, this one's just that next tier up. So, you know, the mm -hmm. celebrating wine. But with North oh, Coast, yeah. mm -hmm. it's actually, it's blending Napa and Sonoma and a couple other regions mm -hmm. up there and it brings in a little bit more fruit to it. So it takes that blue cheese, takes the funk out and brings in a little bit of the sweetness. Wait a minute, I see some balsamic mm -hmm. vinegar up there. Well, I mean, oh, chef, you know, okay. chef threw those on me uh, on the on the table and oh, it goes okay. actually really, really well. The balsamic goes really well with the Girard okay. especially, but also oh, the honey that he cheese. had out earlier. Oh, I decided to steal a couple of those things because you know what? He they had them well. and they work really well. Oh so. yeah, they work really well. So Gouda, Gouda, I mm. think that falls into this category. With oh. Gouda's going to fall into the middle category, category absolutely. Yeah, okay. mm. So yeah, your Gouda, your Manchangos, things along those lines. Manchango actually would go really well, uh, surprisingly, with the Chardonnay as well. Mm. And what so the fun part of this is you get to try a few different things. You're mm -hmm. not going to walk around a party with three glasses in your hand, mm -hmm. although no. I wouldn't judge you. Oh, really? Um, Me neither. I mean, mm. hey, you know what? If you can do that and balance that, I'm I'm all for it. But oh, this way you can up. pick and you know pick and choose and have a little bit of fun. You leave them around the room. Yeah. Exactly. You know, like this station for this, <laughs> this station for that. You know, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, and you know, the bourbon or the, the gin somewhere else of like, oh, oh yeah. I got to talk to that person. Yeah. I'm going to need this thing. Well, isn't the, the rhyme wine than liquor never sicker? So we'll just <laughs> stick with the wine. I, I'm okay with that, yeah. It's, and it is, you know, it's still early, so. All right. All right. <laughs> These were great pairings. Well, thank, thank you. Very you well. Thank you. And you gave us a me. lesson. We love that. That's what I'm here for. Excellent. I try at least. She's not putting her glass down. All right. All right. Thank <laughs> you.